Well, Mike, how do you do? I have seven. You've got seven, and Tan May? Seven. Okay, what's your Tan May? Instead. Yeah, Mike? Stained. And stained. Mm-hmm. Perfect for seven, yeah, good. Both yep. There's quite a few uh, sort of, uh, based around those letters. Detains is there as well for seven. And a seven-letter word called standee, which is a passenger standing on a bus <coughs> or a train or something like that. Yeah. And we've got an eight-letter word, Susie? Yeah, unusual one. Andesite. A-N-D-E-S. I T E, so two E's there. Um, from geology, it's a dark, fine grained, brown, intermediate volcanic rock. Good. <laughs> right, well, we've got a very good score here 62 and 71, so there's nine points between the two, and of course, three rounds left, one of each. So, Tan May, it's your last choice of letters, young man. Um, I'll start with the vowel, please, Carol. Okay, A. And another. I and another O and another E and a consonant S and another V and another T and another G and another F. Okay. Four vowels at the front and then uh, uh, five consonants at the end. So, did you work them out okay, Tan May? How do you get on? A uh, risky seven. A risky seven? Mm. Good. Mike? Only, only six. Okay, what's the <coughs> six? Uh, fogies. Fogies? Can you spell fogies for us? F O G I E S. Yep. Okay, yep. now, risky seven. O V E I T O V I A T E S. Oh. Um, Ovate certainly would be fine. I don't think I know that uh, oviates will be there. You can obviate something as a verb, but not oviate. It's a sort of blend of obviate and ovate. I just remind me of yours, Mike. Uh -huh. Fogies. Fogies. Very appropriate. Oh, as an old fogies. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You mean oh, yes. yes. <laughs> that, no, I was thinking about me, Give him that, that look. <laughs> <laughs> fogies, okay. Fiesta's there as well, oh, by the way. Fiesta six, yeah. You can have that too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so points there, so it's went 77, I think, yeah, 77, 62. So, well, it's still open, 20 points available. Mike, you're going to choose the numbers. Uh, one large and five small again, please. Okay, dokes. One large and five small. This time, then, we have five, uh, one and five, nine and ten, another one and 50. Hmm. Not the best selection of all time, but a target of 482. Okay, 482 then, 482. Tanmay? 482. Okay, let's hear it, Tanmay, please. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. Time, 2 times 9 <laughs> is 18. Yes, similar to last time. 50 times 10 is 500, and 500 take away 18 is 482. Absolutely right. Yes, yes, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just sign on as a 10.50 yeah. Okay, the tax man did it the same way. <laughs> <laughs> Ex tax man. <laughs> Good, so that's uh, the 10 points for him. So 87 and uh, 72. So we come to the conundrum now, gents. Please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. That's the bell. The bell of Tan to say. Venturing. Venturing, he says. And, well, he's ventured into the countdown studio and he's <laughs> got it right.
Well, that's a good performance, isn't it? And a great way to end 82, but I'm afraid it ain't enough because uh, your man here has got 87. So, Mike Meakin, you came and you were pretty nervous there. And uh, you, yes, and you become, you become a beast, an instant, an instant beast. An instant beast. An instant right. beast, but a good chap. And you are the champion, fair and square. Mike Meakin, well done. Thank you. Well, what do we say about this young man? I think in all our years, Carol, we've uh, never had a couple of days like this, have he we? He is absolutely amazing. And he's so charming and so polite in the way he asks the letters and the numbers. Absolutely beautiful, he is. Gorgeous. Can, can you come home with me, Tanya? <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people would like to take him home, yeah. wouldn't they? Would you like to take him home, audience? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, sadly, he's got to go home with his mum and dad, uh, but it was a wonderful. We've had a great uh, two days with him. Uh, well, good was today, but two days mm. champion. So, Tanya, you know, you don't want to hear me blathering on. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you very disappointed that you've lost? Yeah. Yeah, I know. You, well, you know, he was very, we knew he was competitive. Well, we think you're a great credit, and it's fantastic you applied. And uh, we had a young man called Alan Saldana, who was uh, just a, bit, a year older than you, and he went on to do great, do great things. I'm sure you will as well. Okay, give him a huge, he's got a goodie bag from us, but give him a huge round of applause. The great man. Well done, man. And well, here, poor little uh, Tan May's disappointed, obviously, but uh, here's a man who's quite relieved, I should think, Jim Handley. Hi, Jim. Hi. From Edinburgh. <laughs> bit relieved, are you? Yes. Okay, you. but you might meet him. I mean, he beat him. Well, I'll try. Yes, okay. Did you get that conundrum? Yes, I did. You did, okay. All right, well, we'll have uh, Jim and Mike come tomorrow, but we say farewell to, to Mike and to Tanmay and, of course, to Ken and Susie, the gang, yeah. and Carol. Okay, see you all again tomorrow for another great game. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs>